Hey everyone, it's Sue here, and I'm going to um, work in the Michaels journal. Thank you, Fran, so much for that. Uh, Fran had actually purchased this for me, gosh, gosh, how many years ago? A couple years ago, two, three years ago, and sent it to me, and um, she actually sent me two... And this is the second one. So I've gone through the first one already. And one of my favorite things to do in here is to do like these 15 minute pages. Um, and I say 15 minutes because that is like a limit that I have on YouTube. Um, otherwise, um, it won't load. And I like it that way. I know that people, you know, can certainly make longer videos than that. But for me, I'm happy with the 15 minute limit because um, then I, you know, I don't have, because I know me, I'll have, you know, an hour video <laughs> and, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, so I've gone through my stash and pulled out a bunch of goodies and I'm just getting them down. So right now I'm working with two different um, patterns of tissue paper. Well, one is a pattern and the other one is this blue right here. And so I'll just get these down. So for me, it's like early, early on a Saturday morning. And for me, I mean, it is a quarter to nine, <laughs> but <laughs> it just feels like super early to me for some reason. And, um, but I so much wanted to just come on here and spend some time doing this with you guys and just enjoy. You know, sometimes, and I'm sure that many of you can agree with what I'm going to say, um, you know, our lives can get so crazy busy and we have so much going on and sometimes I don't get to do this. And this is one of my favorite things to do is just sit and do a simple collage page. Easy peasy. So that's what this is all about. And I miss it. When I don't get to do this as often as I used to, I miss it. So the good thing is, is that this week I have off. So you're probably going to see a lot of videos <laughs> from me. <laughs> um, so I hope that's okay. So the text that I'm using right here happens to be from a phone book. I mean, here in my community... Um, they still deliver phone books. And I'm like, well, who the heck is going to use a phone book in this world of day of technology, right? So I'm like, well, but I'm not going to throw that out. So I have like a gazillion pages of a phone book that, you know, I, I want to use. So that's what this is. It's nothing, you know, I didn't have to go spend money on it. Nothing like that. And then the, uh, what I'm using to decoupage is Martha Stewart, and it is from Tuesday morning. Now this piece right here is a wipe up of something that I did a while ago. So when I look for, uh, you know, different pieces to put on my, my pages, I'm looking at color. I'm looking at color. So when I saw this sitting in one of my bins, I'm like, oh, that's perfect. Because this is kind of a blue and green kind of page until I get my focal piece on there anyway. See how nice that looks? It just, it just kind of like flattens out and gets all yummy and scrumptious. So, and why have it just sit there in your stash? Get it out. Use it. Use your stuff. 
One of my favorite things to do to prepare for a page is to look through my stash. Uh, it is one of my favorite things to do because I really enjoy um, looking at color and deciding, oh, do I want to do a black and white page? Do, you know, I want to do pink, which is my favorite. What do I want to do? And, and really, what defines it for me is what I find. Um, and then I'll just pull out the different pieces and, and go from there. So this is some homemade washi from a swap from Crazy Island Family. Not sure who actually made it. So we actually, one of the swaps over there was to make some homemade washi. And this is from that. So get some of this on here. And of course the shoe is my is my focal piece. Oops. Get a little bit more of the washi on here. And I'm just gonna put it in spots. And I'm gonna pull off this little piece and then whoops and then I think that's it for the washi. Ah well maybe not. Maybe not. All right, I'm not gonna fuss with it. Only oh there we go. There we go. That works. Um nice, I like this. It kind of has an animal print on it, which kind of goes with my with my shoe that I have here. All right, let me see where I'm at on time. I'm at seven minutes. Okay. So I have, let's see here. You know, I have a little bit of paint, <clears throat> excuse me, paint out here. So I have, they're both Liquitex and they're soft body and this is brilliant blue and it really is a gorgeous blue and this was i got this probably i don't know maybe six months ago at michael's and i was so happy they had recently gotten you know this type of um packaging for paint there where it's the plastic uh bottle you know maybe it was more like i'm trying to think maybe more like eight months ago or whatever. And then when I went to Lancaster at the end of April, we went to um, an AC Moore. And I don't have AC Moore near me anymore. There used to be, but no more. And they had a whole bunch of these on sale for $2. And so I picked up a bunch of colors. But you know, at that time, like these brighter colors were coming out. So they had you know, the more fallish type colors on sale. And of course I grab them up. So all I'm going to do, all I'm going to do is get a little bit of paint on here. And what this does for me, um, you know, it, it just kind of, um, kind of calms down the background just a little bit, right? Uh, let me see, let me grab a paintbrush, and I want to, I'm getting water on the paintbrush, I want to get this a little bit where it's not so opaque, and, and then I'm going to actually lift some off. So I still do want to see the background. All right. Okay, and now I want to put a little bit of the yellow. I hope that doesn't, the blue doesn't <laughs> come off of my finger. Whoop, 
you know what that's a little bit too much Nice, nice, nice. Aren't those colors pretty together? Considering one is really so, I don't know. Um, you know, I, I don't, the whole, like, the whole thing, like, with having cool colors and warm colors, I don't get. I just don't get it. People can look at a color and say, oh, that's a warm color. Well, you know what? I don't get it. <laughs> so... <laughs> I almost wanted to say that the blue was cool and the and the yellow is warm, but I don't know if that's true or not. You guys can tell me in the comments if that's a true statement. I don't know. I don't get that whole thing. But anyway, so we're doing good. So I'm just going to dry this off, put a couple more pieces on, do some shading, and we're going to call it done. All right, I just want to make sure around the shoe, since I'm going to be shading around the shoe, that I definitely want that to be as dry as possible without having you guys sit there and watch me dry too, too much. All right, so I have, I'm looking through my Faber-Castell pit pens, and I'm looking at my different shades of blue, and... I think I'll try this. So I'm sure most of us know that, you know, when you first put down a pit pen, it is where you can blend it. Once it dries, it is permanent. So giving this little bit of shading around the shoe um, helps the shoe to become the focal image of the page. Even though it is in the middle of the page, it does help it to stand out even more. Yep, I like that. And I do like to do it messily. I don't like things to be super clean. Oh, I like that very, very, very much. And I did pull out a couple of, of um, Cosmo Cricut word sayings. And I was thinking either create beautiful things or time to make happy memories. You know what? I think, I think I'm going to go with the bigger one. So it says create beautiful things. And of course, I can't just put it on there. I will cut these words. And let's see where we can put these. So create, I'm gonna put them at a slant. Create beautiful things. And I have these, these are from Target. They are from the dollar bin, and they're just wood, and they, they're they already sticky on the back, so I'm just going to put one of the hearts there, and I'm going to take this same pit pen and go around these words, and then this page is done. So I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done... Just a quick little process video like this with you all and where I don't have to edit it and uh, I enjoy this and I miss it and I just feel like I have extra time to to really do what I want because I do have off until after Labor Day so I'm pretty excited about that. You know I have like one of those jobs that you know, you can work constantly and just never take a vacation. <laughs> but you have to make yourself do it. That's it. That's my finished page. Um, you know what? Do I have time? Nope. Okay, I'm going to call it quits. quits. Okay, I hope that you all enjoyed this. Let me know. Thanks. Bye-bye.